Welcome to Kraus, where we create innovations for real life. Hey guys, so today we'll be taking a look at our stainless steel basket strainer. It's model number BST-1, and I'm gonna go over how to install this properly into your sink and answer some questions that we get quite often. All right, now this strainer, the first thing you're gonna to wanna to do is disassemble it, right? So it comes fully assembled, and you're gonna to wanna to take it apart piece by piece. You'll take the lid, and you'll take the stainless steel basket out of it. And there is a screw within your strainer that you can use a 15 millimeter flat head screwdriver, or to be quite honest, even a, a coin, uh, can be used to remove the screw that's holding it together. And once you remove the screw, you can really just take the components of the strainer apart. So the screw itself can just come out just like that. And you'll have all of these parts once you take it apart. Uh, now I'm going to go into actually installing this into a sink and I'll do it step by step so you can follow along. Okay guys, so now we have our 17 inch stainless steel undermount DEX series sink here for the sake of this demonstration. And what I'm gonna do is show you how to install our basket strainer step by step. Okay, so we have all of our parts disassembled here. And the first thing you're gonna wanna do is take the metal strainer and this white foam gasket. All right, you're gonna take this white foam gasket and place it right onto the metal strainer like so. Uh, and one of the many questions we get on this strainer installation is in regards to this white washer. Folks always seem to ask, hey, do I need to use plumber's putty when installing your basket strainer? The answer is no, you don't have to. This white washer is designed to take the place of plumber's putty. If you really would like to use plumber's putty, you can, but we would recommend not using the white gasket. Uh, just use one or the other. Um, so we're gonna take this gasket with the white, I'm sorry, the strainer with the white gasket on it, and we're going to drop it right into our sinkhole like so, okay? Then we're gonna take the exterior cover and the black gasket, and we're going to, from underneath the sink, attach it to the strainer. So this is how it's gonna look from underneath your countertop. You're gonna take this piece with this black gasket, and the rib side, if you notice, will be facing upward, okay? So you put that on there just like that. And you may wanna have somebody help you. It's definitely easier with two people. So you can see it like this. And next you're gonna take the screw that we took apart earlier, and we're going to screw it right back into the strainer itself. And okay. Once you have completed tightening the screw by hand, you can take a 15 millimeter flat head screwdriver or even something as simple as a coin to finish tightening the screw that's inside of your basket strainer. Okay. And we also provide uh, the nut and the washer that attaches to the strainer. So what you're gonna do is take your washer and simply drop it into the nut like so. And then we're gonna screw this right on to the end of the strainer itself. And lastly, take your basket, drop it into your strainer, and place the lid on top. And just like that, you've installed your basket strainer um, one thing I do want to mention is that we get several questions coming into us about garbage disposals and how do they attach to the basket strainer. The simple answer is they don't. Our basket strainers are, are just that. They're strainers, uh, not intended to be used as disposals. However, uh, if you'd like to use a disposal with your sink, simply remove the strainer altogether and replace it with your garbage disposal. It has its own flange and it can mount directly to the sink itself. Um, and it fits uh, just perfectly with all of our sinks. 
Um, hopefully this was helpful. And if you have any questions, you can feel free to call us at 1-800-775-0703 or email us at customerservice at kraususa.com. Thanks again for watching and I'll catch you guys next time. Krauss, innovation for real life.